Hi everyone, this is Peter. In this short video, we will be looking at how we can retain grades and feedback to students through two easy methods in Moodle. The first thing we're going to look at is creating an activity, but we will choose an offline activity. So a lot of the time students may be doing lab-based exercises or observations or it might just be an assignment that they've submitted through the coursework receiving office but you might want to retain grades and feedback online. So the offline activity can do this. We'll just give it a quick test name for now. And some description. And what I will do, just to make this a bit simpler, I will disable these dates and I will click save and display. So as I can see no attempts have been made in this assignment and it's unlikely that any attempts would be made because it's an offline activity so I wouldn't worry about that for now. But if we click on that we get a list of all of the students that are enrolled in this particular unit. I'm in a, I'm in a training area at the moment so that's why I have these dummy accounts. But really quickly I can choose dummy student 01 and a grade and if I wanted to, I can leave some feedback. And then I can go down my page and leave as many grades with some small bits of feedback as I want. If I scroll to the bottom, I can click save all my feedback. And what will happen is, because I have the send notification emails ticked, that will send an email to those students to tell them that this grade has been updated for them. Now quickly, if you don't actually see the same um, grade drop down boxes and comments as me, make sure the allow quick grading box is ticked and click save and then you should see that fine. So that's a really easy simple way to give some basic feedback and a grade to students. But sometimes you might have much more detailed feedback. You might have a feedback sheet that you want to return to students. And another simple way we can do that is rather than have an offline activity, this time we can create advanced uploading of files. Now typically this will be used for students to actually submit the work online, but it doesn't have to be. So we can test advanced upload. We can still use it just to give feedback. Once again, I will disable these dates and we can set some file sizes here, but again, it's, it's irrelevant because we're not actually asking our students to do this at this point. So I can save and display. No attempts being made and again, I will get a similar screen to before. What I can do is actually, rather than leaving a grade and a comment here, I can click on the grade status on the right hand side and I get this pop up window which allows me to leave a grade as before. I can leave some quick feedback if I want to here, but importantly, I've got this area of response file. So first I will just save those changes that I've done and come back into it again. And in the response files, I can browse my computer. So I can click that, I can you know, navigate anywhere on my computer and find a particular file that I want to upload for my students, for well, that particular student, and click upload. That'll just take oh, take a couple of seconds to upload. When it does, it appears like that. I can either click save changes or I can actually click save and show next, which will take me straight on to the next student in the class. So there you, there you go, two easy ways to retain grades and feedback to students.